that the nationwide dust to dawn curfew that has been in effect from the 27th of March 2020 be and is hereby vacated with immediate effect. 20th October 2021 will forever remain a date to be remembered by Kenyans following the lifting of the dusk to dawn curfew by the president. The curfew was a measure put in place by the Ministry of Health to contain the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Here in Nairobi, many Kenyans were not able to hide the excitement, especially small business operators who were impacted negatively by the curfew. <laughs> Matatu operators were blissful as they expressed the frustration and the losses the restriction had caused them. Mimi, kama mfanyakazi wa transportation ya bus, na furahia kwa sababu watajoto wanafika hapa mapema wanafanya shughuli zao mapema na wanaweza kwenda pia kurudi nyumbani Kampala Burundi wapi mapema wapate gari gari zetu hizi zinatembeanga usiku lakini tumekuwa na kasi ngumu sana kwa sababu gari ikifika hapa inafaa itoka hapa saa 7 ndio at least waepane na hiyo story ya kavyo lakini kwa sasa fila ametufungulia Tunaona kwamba tutakuwa afadhali. Venye hatuko tunaenda mahali kwingine juu ya roadblocks na nini na nini. Sasa tutaweza so tutainua uchumi nini uchumi itainuka. Hoteliers on the other hand say that the move will improve their businesses and create more jobs. Kuna wengi tulikuwa tunafanya nao kazi tulikuwa like 100%. 50 of them wakaenda nyumbani tukabaki 50%. Sasa tutaweza kurudisha hao kazi, watapata ajira, wenye walikuwa wameenda manyumbani watarudi. Katika kaunti hii ambayo tunajua kwamba kitegea uchumi kuwa ni utalii na mambo ya hospitality imekuwa kweli ni eh, pingamizi kubwa sana lakini sasa hizi tuwashukuru na sisi wakazi kama Mombasa tuna Kenyans across the country have since commended the president for lifting the curfew, vowing to continue observing the remaining COVID-19 protocols. This is the day that many Kenyans had anticipated. They are now hopeful that the state of economy will improve and more jobs will be created. Gabriel Mosa, K24, Nairobi.